so welcome back to my channel this is Dom and this is a bit of a response to my mate Alec at War Games Hobby um, he decided to uh, do a, a, a sort of catalogue of all the figures he owns and he challenged me to tell him how many figures I owned now I ain't gonna do that because there's too many and frankly it would take me more time than possibly I could do to, to, to video all the uh, figures I have or even count them up. Now I will do it over time, I need to do it, I need to do it for insurance purposes if nothing else. But I'm here in the boot room and I thought um, I would show you my Napoleonic collection. That's enough for the start. So let's take a look. So I'm going to try not to be too shaky vision. Um, so all my 28mm Napoleonics are in Freeform cabinets like this, freestanding cabinets like this. And the 15 mils are in trays like that. Yeah, but you don't want to see that, do you? You want to see the actual count. So let's have a look. Let's have a look in the... Uh, this is what... Oh, oh, handle's just fallen off the door. That's not good. Um, this is what I will call my sort of British piles <laughs> so these are the allied um actually this is almost entirely british and portuguese this cabinet now so highland regiment in the corner there uh we've got some british infantry lots and lots of british infantry lots and lots of british infantry a picton lots and lots of british infantry <laughs> there's a theme here uh, there's some uh, dragoons. I actually know they're yeah they're um, um, heavy dragoons, British dragoons. Try and peer around the ca uh, camera, and there is another load of British infantry. There is another load of British infantry, uh, all singly based because uh, for sharp practice and so forth. And at the back there, you can probably just make out some 95th, also singly based. Some more single based British infantry. All the way down here. Oop. Some casualties on the next row. 95th. Some sailors and marines there. Some more Highlanders. Some at the back there, I've got Hanoverians. Uh, some more riflemen there. Uh, actually, I think they are um, Hanoverian riflemen. And some more single based British. Down below, we've got some British Hussars. These are uh, Chasse Britannique, uh, Portuguese. Oh, no, no, they're not. They are they're the Portuguese Legion troops. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't even know what I've got. Some British cannons. One in the corner there is a Portuguese cannon, single based for sharp practice. Down below, some generals and the Blessed rocket launcher another gun another cavalry actually i think that gun is portuguese again yes it is uh british officer cavalry officer we've got some portuguese dragoons some british uh heavy dragoons some british light dragoons uh these are um uh what are they lifeguards scots greys another horse gun some more Hussars, some more British Light Dragoons, Blessed 95th with some of their compatriots formed up at the back there. Another load of British infantry, because you can never have too many of them. And then dropping down, we've got some Portuguese. So we've got uh, Kakadors, uh, Portuguese Line, more Portuguese Line at the bottom. Some, uh, actually no, there's some, oh, I can't take my glasses off. Uh, at the bottom here, the Portuguese, these are Spanish um, Dragoons. Some Spanish line infantry and some Spanish light infantry at the back there. So that's cabinet, that's cabinet one. So we better top that all up and I'll tell you what that counts, comes as. Oh Alec, what have you done to me? So I've done a quick uh, calculation. I can't guarantee to be 100% accurate. Um, but according to my reckoning, in this cabinet, 
uh, British, Portuguese and Spanish troops. There is 874 foot, foot figures, 137 cavalry or mounted figures. Um, I didn't count out the number of guns. Four, five, six, uh, seven, eight... Eight guns? Eight guns as well. There you go, if you could include the rocket. So that gives me, if I count two for each of the cavalry figures, uh, that gives me 1,148 figures in this cabinet. <gasps> now I've started, I better move on to the next one, I guess. Oh, right, so we're done cabinet one. So we better move on to cabinet two. This contains my Swedish, my Russians. Um, so the Swedish are still being worked on. These are um, painted for me. The entire collection so far has been collect uh, painted for me by Sean uh, at uh, Metal Mercen Mercenaries. Fantastic painter. So I've got the light infantry here, the Swedish foot along here. These Swedish foot are done single base so I can use them for skirmishy type games. Number of gun batteries. <laughs> very kindly do these ones at the back here for me for my birthday some mounted generals some more light these are sort of light companies for the light for the regular infantry uh, there's another unit of infantry there some dragoons and some more skirmish troops down there so that's the Swedes uh, say so more to come of those on the Russian side we've got uh, two variants of Russians we've got the winter Russians which I did for Shakos and Bayonets so I've got some uh, uh, grenad uh, officers basically all different types of officers here gun uh, plus its crew some Cossacks these are um, these are just straight Jaegers ones at the back of guard Jaegers regular grenadiers and at the back, regular infantry, another sleigh gun this time, and lots of musketeers down here, all single based. Some uh, Opel Cheney at the back, single based. Uh, these are grenadiers here, single based uh, mostly, I think. So that's the winter Russians heading down to the uh, the warmer climbs. We've got some. I think these are. I've got to remember what these are. Mounted. Um, mounted Jaegers, I think, is what they are. Light cavalry. Uh, we've got some cavalry, uh, some officers here. Uh, heavy gun battery. Got some guard Cossacks. Uh, these are Caressias. These are Dragoons. And these are my Russian infantry and Grenadiers and Jaegers down the bottom. And at the very bottom, you can see some um, Gren um Pavlovs, some Opel Cheneys, um, both Opel Cheneys with pikes and also with muskets and some casualty markers and so forth. And I don't think there's as many in here as in the British um, because there's a couple of empty shelves while I'm still building these two forces up. But let's have a look and I will count these up. Damn you, Alec. Okay, totaling up the Russians and the Swedes. The uh, Swedes have, uh, blah, 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 what have I got? 217 foot figures, 16 mounted, and 6 guns. So, in plenty more of them to come. Um, the Winter Russians have 160 foot figures, 13 mounted, and 2 guns. And the winter, uh, sorry, summer Russians have uh, 51 mounted figures, three guns, and 286 foot. Which, if I double up the mounted, ignore the guns for the moment, that in means that cabinet so far has uh, 823 figures in it. And still plenty of room for more. On to cabinet three. Okay, so into cabinet three. This one doesn't have any doors on it. Um, so I've transferred all the uh, Nassau's and the Brunswickers into this. So um, so there's the Brunswick light infantry here, the regular infantry here, the Lancers here. Dropping down is Nassau. Always love the Nassau. Across here and also a, another uh, Brunswick uh, battalion. There are some, um, I think those are Brunswick Cavalry from what I remember. 
there's just some random um, sailor, uh, British sailor gun crews and guns. And then the Wurtzburgers, these are piano miniatures, again painted for me by Sean at Metal Mercenaries. So again, he's working on some more of these at the moment. Uh, there's light infantry, riflemen, um, some line battalions here, some casualty markers here, and some officer stands here. Lots of empty shelves, and um, these are my start of my Prussians. Um, I confess I haven't painted any of these. Every single one of these has been bought on eBay, and I do need to do a bit of rebasing because some of them are very differently based to others. And then at the bottom, just some random stuff, <laughs> scenery type stuff. So let's have a look through these ones. Some lovely figures. Those piano miniatures are awesome. I love my Nassau's as well and the Brunswickers. So I better count these up then. Okay, so I did all myself. I did actually paint uh, a couple of guns and some uh, light infantry in those Jaeg in the uh, Prussian forces down here. The rest have just been bought. Uh, so the guns are there that I did, and the uh, these are the Jaegers that I've done. Um, so in this cabinet, I know you can't wait to hear. The totals are: uh, we have Prussians, two hundred and twenty-two foot figures, six guns, and forty-eight cavalry. Uh, the Württemberg is 107 foot and 4 mounted figures. Uh, the odds cannons there, 16 crew members and 4 guns. And the uh, Nassau and Brunswickers come to uh, 29 mounted figures and 2 guns and 168 foot figures. Which gives me a grand total of, in this cabinet, if I'm counting 2 mounted per I'm counting two for each mounted figure it gives me 675 in this um, in this cabinet so I better move on to the final one which is a pretty packed one this could take a while so finally for the 28 mils for now anyway this is the baddies this is the French and their allies uh, I've got to have someone to fight against so I've got loads of French across the top here some guard there, more French, some chasseurs, some lancers, more here, actually that's a Portuguese legion there, uh, some chasseurs, a cheval, some rather dated looking dragoons, some cannon, more dragoons, some cuirassiers here, more infantry, don't know who he is. Uh, some young guard and some old guard and some guard guns. And then into the Clevebergs. Those of you who follow the channel will have seen me painting these up. And then at the bottom, the Neapolitans. Love those Clevberg lancers. Don't get them out enough. So there you go. That's what's in this cupboard. You can have a guess how many are in this one. It's probably going to be a similar number to the British, I would imagine. Okay, so I've tossed up all this cabinet. In the French section, we have 452 foot figures, 100 and, 113 mounted figures, and 10 cannons. In the, in the Cleve area, uh, 205 foot, 24 mounted, and 6 guns. Uh, there's also a gun limber at the back there, which I've never actually used, but I should, really should get it out and play with it. Um, in the Portuguese, well, I called them Neapolitans at the bottom, but there's also some Confederacy in the Rhine, some Bavarian cavalry. These are Hassel, Delmut, whatever they are, um, Dragoons as well. But I count them all together, so that is 114 foot, 38 cavalry, and just one gun. Um, so the total in this cabinet gives me 1,500 and, sorry, 1,151 figures if I count each cavalry man as two. So I guess that means I need to tot up all the painted metals in here. So I better do that now. 
Right, so totting all that up um, in these four cabinets, again counting cavalry as two figures each, gives me a massive total of 3,797 uh, figures. That doesn't include artillery pieces as well, I ought to count that out separately. Um, so that's all my painted 28mm Napoleonics. Um, yeah, that's kind of, I don't know whether I feel good about that or bad about that, but that's what it is. Of course, the problem with Napoleonics, there's always plenty more to go. So there's the, some of the pile of opportunity waiting to be painted up. That's just some of them. <laughs> so there's more to come. So that's the 28 mils. Oh, and I suppose you could count the silver bayonets in that I think I may well be selling off because I'm not sure I'm going to play that game after all. Um, but um, we'll just count them as straight Napoleonics for now. And I guess I need to get the 15 mils out now. Right, into the 15 mil. You'll notice they aren't quite as well organised. I need to spend some time on these um, because they haven't been used a huge amount. Uh, Jonathan and I played some 15 mil General Darme because because it's a lot easier to transport the figures to the club. Um, so I do need to get these properly based out and sorted out. So this is my 15 mil uh, Polish army. So I remember vid vividly painting this up um, when my daughters were incredibly young and we used to go to holiday in France and while they were snoozing I would paint figures sitting in the sun drinking red wine and they're kind of fun. They're a real mixed bag. Yeah, they were based originally for, in fact all these 15 mils were based originally for Principles of War which uh, friend of mine and I used to play a lot. So we've got, uh, what have we got in here? Infantry, lots of infantry, lancers of course, hussars, uh, these don't look ones I painted, these must be some other, they're French Dragoons, those are, um, and some artillery here. Um, so better top this lot up, yeah definitely a mixed bag in there, uh, mostly Polish, as I thought. Um, there's also some British, uh, sorry, some um, uh, French hussars and um, Carassias in there, and dragoons, I think as well. And also, I'm not sure what these are. I can't remember. I think they're Neapolitans. Anyway, uh, in that box we have 120 foot figures, eight guns, and 26 crew, four generals, and nine. Uh, sorry, and 65 cavalry figures. <sighs> Alec. Right, this box says uh, 15 mil Russians and Prussians. Uh, looks like mainly Russians, but there's a few Prussian cavalry I can see in there. Um, some of these are quite nice. Very old figures. Pavlov Grenadiers there. Recognise those instantly. Some... Uh, I think there's some... Prussian Dragoons. No idea what those are. Russian, I think. Russian Crassiers. No guns in here. A few officers. There's a Russian officer. Not sure where these are. I think a lot of these are Essex figures. Uh, also some minifigs. Um, bought. A lot painted by me, a lot not, just picked up on bring and buys and eBay sales and what have you over the years. Most of them are very old indeed. Top this box up. So this box of Prussians and Russians is 84 foot, uh, 93 cavalry and three generals in there. <sighs> Onwards. All right, really useful box. Three of the 15 mil Napoleonics. This is all Russian 15 mils. I can see Cossacks here, uh, lots of infantry, which you need. These are the Jaegers, yep, Jaegers. Um, oh my goodness, I've no idea what kind of cavalry these are. I think I bought these on eBay, and I'm still not sure what they are. Uh, some Dragoons there, cannons at the back. So I better count this lot up. Biggest box so far, hundred and uh, sorry, 201 infantry figures in there, 88 cavalry, 5 guns with 18 crew, 
and five mounted generals. Whew. So next box is another mixed bag. We've got uh, some French infantry in here. Um, various diff these are these were bought fairly recently actually on eBay. I uh, haven't got around to rebasing them yet. Um, these are lovely. These are Bavarians. Oops, show them on the screen would help. These are Bavarians. I picked these up many moons ago in a bring and buy sale for virtually nothing. This uh, 15 mil Napoleon has gone out of fashion. Um, and they're lovely figures. Uh, from the sublime to the ridiculous, I mean, these are just horrible. <laughs> Cannon fodder of the worst order. That's uh, I think they're supposed to be Neapolitan, uh, the Black Regiment. Uh, and there's some guns here, and then the general. Again, very early, very old, tiny 25 mil figure. Um, I mean, just look at the variations in these figures. These are true 25s. Uh, sorry, 25s. Two true 15s. Um, but they are so small compared to the more modern ones. These are slightly newer, but such a different scale. But never mind. Uh, they're all uh, all ready to fight at some point when I can be bothered to rebase them all. I'm going to, have to spend about a year just rebasing all these figures. Let's count these ones up. So of this eclectic mix, we've got seven guns, 26 crew, four cavalrymen <laughs> sneaking down here, who's ours, I think, by the look of it, um, and the mounted officer, and 182 foot figures. <sighs> Onwards. So next box out, this is uh, British and some of their allies, British cavalry and some of the allies. Uh, we've got Brunswick, uh, no, we've got, uh, what have we got, Nassau's um, and Portuguese in here uh, for the infantry. Um, these are Nassau's. Um, look at these, that's Portuguese definitely. Recognise the flags. Um, there's a gun, Royal Horse Artillery gun, lots of cavalry. Now, you notice when you go through these boxes that there's not an awful lot of French and their allies, mainly because um, I used to play predominantly with my mate Nick, and he had all the French, and I built all the Allied armies, um, because that's just the way we split it, and everyone knows how much I love the French. Uh, interesting, these are some of those... Um, yeah, these are. These are some of the epic figures. Uh, epic cavalry got sprue on one of the magazines, so they're painted up in there. But they, they match up reasonably well. These are... Oh, that's those are as well. <laughs> Definitely they match up pretty well. Now, these are metals. Uh, these are dragoons, I think. Um, look like they're um, dragoon guard. And they, they mix really well with these epics. You really can't see the difference. So lots of cavalry here. Let's count these fellas up. Okay, in this box we have 92 foot, one gun, which is also one of the epic ones actually, funny enough. Uh, and four crew, uh, 67 cavalry figures, and two generals. Right, bit of a break <laughs> before we start on the next lot. Um, so this is another Pride and Joy project of mine. Uh, anybody who knows me and most follows the channel for a length of time knows I have a bit of a thing about Swedish Napoleonic troops. I have no idea why, uh, but I do. Um, so this is 15 mil Swedish army um, that I bit, that I painted up uh, again many 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 moons ago. Um, Pride and joy this one was. I used to love playing this. I even went down to naming all the different regiments on it so that uh, I knew exactly what they are. Vastagotta Dragoon Regiment. There you go. So, uh, yeah, lots of these. These are... I think these are all Essex. I honestly can't remember. just love the, the different sort of hats, helmets, hats, shakos they had on. Really good. That's not a that's not a Swedish gun. That's a Bavarian gun. Don't know what that's doing in here. But anyway, let's count these up and include them in the total. Right. So that is two hundred and eight beautiful Swedish infantry, seven guns, and twenty five crew members, thirty six cavalry, and six mounted officers to put into the uh, into the count. Blimey! Almost getting towards the bottom half of my figure collection. 
back in a minute. So next up, a box of Spanish and Portuguese Napoleonics. Some of these are lovely, actually, really nice. I didn't paint any of these, I don't think. Nice uh, cacadors there by the look of it. Portuguese ones, with some Spanish artillery. More Spanish infantry. Recognize these Spanish grenadiers. Very old figures, even the color started to go yellow. Right, let's count these up. I'm bound to be missing some of these, but <laughs> it's getting close. So 225 is the infantry count here. Uh, four uh, mounted generals, um, five guns and 18 crew, and 12 cavalry figures in that box of Spanish and Portuguese. Predominantly Spanish, actually. Right, just three more boxes to go. This is the British and Bronze Wickers. My pride and joys. I can see some rockets in there. All sorts of goodness. Right, let's get counting. These fellows, are, some of these are really nice. Really nice indeed for 15 mil. Really good figures. Bought those at, an, I believe, a bring and buy sale in um, uh, Colours, I think it was, many, many, many years ago. Some nice Highlanders here. Nicely painted up. Anyway, on the Brunswickers, I did I did all these Brunswickers myself, from what I remember. Yeah. Awesome. Let's count them up. Okay, goodly amount of Brits here. Three, uh, just shy of 400, so 397 in there. Uh, 11 guns and 39 crew. Just 13 cavalry, because the cavalry are mainly in the other box. Seven mounted officers and a limber, which I'm going to count as six because it's got uh, well, actually, it should be eight because it's got um, four horses and four crew members. So, there you go, almost at the end. So, the penultimate box is um, Austrians, which is a very unusual army for me. I don't generally play Austrians, in fact, I don't ever recall. Well, I think, I think, in fairness, I bought this. Uh, a lot of these figures as a job lot at uh, a bring and buy sale. They weren't the best figures, they weren't the best painted, but uh, they were useful for when we were doing uh, scenarios that involved um, combined Austro-Russian armies, um, which is why I had them. And um, you can see it's a rather full box there, plus the, caval uh, plus the mounted generals which I've taken out. Some of them are lovely, um, really nice, these grenadiers. Very nice indeed. I can say that because I didn't paint any of these. Some nice infantry there. Nice cannons as well. Very, very nice. Slightly earlier period than this were, but then some of them are just distinctly average. <laughs> these are distinctly average. Anyway, lots of infantry there, so I'll get counting. Right, so here we have uh, 206 infantry. Uh, 8 guns, 28 crew members. 45 cavalry actually some of these are really nice as well really nice austrian cavalry um and 12 mounted generals wow finally finally for the 15 mils uh this is uh prussian infantry and guns um these actually got a lot of outings it's funny the prussians are probably my least favorite least interested in army if that makes sense uh, i don't know why just never really been bothered about them but then i always seem to have an army or two of them because they are omnipresent certainly in napoleonics you can't really fight that period without prussian army somewhere on the line so i end up getting some and that was the case with these fellas just um i had all the others first and then i thought well got them i might as well get another ally uh, being the prussians so um it's a nice blue box let's count them up I've forgotten how much fun these ones are. Uh, I remember these land we're winning <laughs> loads of battles because best worst tr quality troops always do, don't they? Some of these are really very old, but hey, still do the job, especially at this scale. So we have uh, three hundred and seventy-four infantry in there, um, seven guns and twenty-nine. Gun crews, even with a 
bent loaders, bent ram rods. <laughs> so that is that. So let's pop the lid on. So that is the stack of 15 mil Napoleonics. See why I'm cursing Alec? So I guess I need to add them all up and find out how many are there. Okay, so my calculator is running hot, but uh, in those 15 mil troops, that comes out at 2,089 infantry, uh, 59 guns and the one limber, and 464 mounted figures. Now, if I count one gun as one, and each mounted man as two, which I think is what Alex was doing, gives me 3,084 15 mils, which is dwarfed by... If I do the same calculation with my 28 mils, it leaves me with 3,851, um, which in total gives me 6,935 Napoleonic figures, counting one infantryman or one footman as one, even gun crew as one, cavalry as two, and each gun as one, and limber as one. Um, so just shy of 7,000 figures. In fact, I've just realised I've got some on the painting desk, some more 28s, and there is another Russian gun and gun battery 28 mil horse one, which uh, is sitting waiting for its pair to be painted and it be touched up. Oh well, it's a never ending project, but as of uh, end of uh, or middle of August, we're talking just shy of 7,000 Napoleonics, 28 mils and 15 mils. There you go, Alec, you asked the question. I've just spent hours counting these out, <laughs> you bugger. Um, so my challenge goes out to anybody else who wants to count up uh, their collection or just an element of it. So I've cheated here by just doing the 15 mils uh, and the 28 mil Napoleonics. I will dive into some of the other periods at another time, maybe. Um, but I hope you, uh, people were asking me to have a look around the uh, 28 mil collection as well. So hopefully people who've enjoyed seeing into these cabinets and seeing what is available, what I have to play with. I'm very, very lucky. I fully recognise that. I've spent a lot of time, money, and just had a great time building this army up and uh, well, this collection up. And it will see a lot more action as long as I'm spared. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to nominate... I'm gonna I'm gonna nominate Martin, seventh son. How big's your Napoleonic collection, mate? How many figures you got? Remember one figure, one footman is one point, a cavalry is two, and a gun is one. So how many figures have you got, mate? Obviously if anybody else wants to put it in the in the comments down below, you're very welcome to. Love to know how bad people's addictions are. Nothing else makes me feel slightly better. Anyway, there you go. That's what. Uh, that's that's a reply to Alec. Uh, check his uh, channel out. Link in the description. Does some really good uh, videos, and he's a great opponent. Uh, we have great, some really good fun games. Um, so check his channel out. And uh, if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Um, consider joining the channel um, if you wish. Um, absolutely no pressure to do so but um, I appreciate everybody who has done and those who do in the future so anyway stay safe stay well happy gaming show me your addictions this is Dom signing out